Hello, everyone. This is Independent Conservative. I'm Ryan Bowling. Thank you all for joining me. So in an interview with TMZ, uh, R&B artist Neo was walking down a street in, I believe, Los Angeles. I saw the videos like a minute and 54 seconds. He's walking down the street in Los Angeles, I believe. And an interviewer from TNZ walks up to him and, oh, and incidentally, he's holding the hands, I guess, or two, 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 two of his girlfriends, one on the left, one on his right. I guess he's with two girlfriends now, okay? And um, the interviewer from TNZ asks him, what do you feel about the legalization of uh, multiple marriages, you know, polygamy rather? And, you know, he goes into this rant about how that he don't think is anything wrong with it, okay? So I'm going to get right into this article here, and I'm going to give you uh, 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 my opinion on this. Uh, this is not too far away from what I have been reading up on, the moral state of our country. It's not too far away from that, you know. Uh, this is no surprise to me. And when I say this is no surprise to me, I don't mean it in reference to Neo and his, Neo and his attitude about this. But this is no surprise to me in reference to the moral status of this country. But let's go into this. Uh, singer Neo says polygamists should be allowed to marry multiple people if they want. He says, I feel like in the realm of love and romance, you should let people do whatever the H-E-L-L -L they want to do. I can't see how it's hurting anyone, Neo told TMZ on Thursday after being asked to share his thoughts on legalizing polygamy while taking a stroll in Los Angeles with his two girlfriends. So according to the article, uh, evidently these um, two young ladies were his two girlfriends. Oh, and it's interesting when I'm watching this video, right, because it's like I couldn't help but ask myself a question. If these are two of his girlfriends, how is that working for them? You know, I mean, this is the first time I've ever seen this with, with um, anyone, really, whether it's a celebrity or whatever. It's the first time I've seen that. And I'm hoping that I remember at the end of this video to share um, a, a story with you guys in reference to one of the members of my church who, during the Sunday school lesson, uh, made some statements about something that she had witnessed herself. But uh, anyway, yeah, I, I, I can't but wonder what were they feeling and what were they thinking. But they was up here cheesing and carrying on and smiling and looking all cute for the camera. And I couldn't help but wonder what was going on in their own mind. I mean, are they OK with this? I mean, I mean, what, what's the deal going on here? Is he paying them or what? I mean, they're OK with this. This is cool. Let's go. <laughs> My normal, my, my, my uh, uh, observations in situations like this, when there tend to be uh, a guy that tends to be tipping off on the other woman, the woman that he's with, uh, they tend to be pretty upset about that. But evidently, these two young ladies who are holding the hands of Neo, one on the left, one on the right, I guess it's not a problem. Let's go on. After being asked point blank if he believes polygamy should be legalized, the, quote, give me everything, singer replied, sure, why not? Um, he says, uh, however, he adds that he does not feel a need to lobby for any legal changes because he doesn't believe it is affecting his personal life as he is not sure he wants to marry multiple women. Would you fight in D.C. for the lawmakers? And this is exactly what this TMZ reporter uh, asks, interviewer asks, rather, the TB TMZ reporter asks, to which... Neo answered, no, because to be honest, I don't need the government to tell me what it is I can and can't do related to my personal life. And let me say something else, too, about this TMZ reporter. This TMZ reporter, and I'm not surprised at this because TMZ is a leftist and, and, and liberals think it's OK to just do anything, live anywhere. OK, all right, whatever. But the reporter's attitude about this was all nonchalant. It was a big joke to her. It was not, not, nothing serious. He was like, of course, not. of course, it shouldn't be a problem. In other words, this this reporter was basically in agreement with this whole idea of the legalization of polygamy. She had no problem with it, particularly in the tone in which she said these things. But I'm going to give you guys my detailed um, commentary on this a little later. After being asked if he wants to get married to multiple women, the singer admitted that he wasn't sure about that. I don't know, Neo said. I'm not going to let it ruin my day. At the end of the day, the people I the people I love know I love them and they love me. You're not going to let it ruin your day. 
Okay. Yeah, okay. Let's just okay. All right. Anything for the camera. You know, you can say anything for the camera. But what is the real deal here, you know? The TMZ reporter then asks if he recommends the quote situation he is in right now, to which the time of our live singer replied, No, I'm going to assume the situation is talking about with the two girlfriends. I don't know. I don't recommend anything to anybody, Neil said. <coughs> What works for me not, might not work for you and vice versa, so find out what works for you. Neo was seen in Miami, Florida, last summer holding hands with two women. Shortly after divorcing from his ex-wife, Crystal, with the separation occurring as a result of the singer's infidelity, TMZ reported. Uh, so, yeah, he, it's infidelity. Okay, um, anyway. And that's the end of the article there. And if in an infidelity situation, it would make sense for someone... If, in fact, Neo was just being rambunctious or whatever, or just being like, I don't, I, I just want to get with this person because she looks good. Let me get with her. Let me lay with her. Woo, woo, woo. I'm a player or whatever. If he had that mindset, then it would make sense for this TMZ reporter to ask him, is it okay to legalize polygamy? Okay. Um, but let me just say this up front. And I'm more of a libertarian in this sense. And what I mean by libertarian in this sense is that as a consenting adult, if you want to choose to marry uh, two or three or four women, that's your choice. Now, as a Christian, I don't support it. I believe that uh, a man should marry one woman and a woman should marry one man. And that's the way it is. I'm not going to go into the detail of that. I'm not going to go into the theology of that. It's not. This is not the time for it, the place for it. I know somebody might be thinking, somebody getting somebody triggered right now and say, well, what, what about the Old Testament when the kings married? Look, I'm not going to get into all that. I'm going to get into explaining all that, okay? The point is, we're in a new covenant. We're in a new testament now. New covenant, new agreement, and that is one man, one woman, be married to them, period. That's it. That's what I believe. That's what I support. But I understand there are other religions, not only in other countries, but in this country, in America, who believe in being married to more than one woman, okay? Now, that's their religion. You a consenting adult? That's your religion? You do you, I do me. Okay, I'm a libertarian on that. So, but that, so I'm not going to even deal with the religious implications of this. I'm not going to even deal with the moral grounds. Because as far as I'm concerned, it's morally wrong. Just that simple. And I, 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 I place, I base basically my moral foundation on a biblical on biblical principles that's just the way i do things i'm a christian people agree with it or disagree with it i don't care i'm going to be with the lord at the end of, at, at the rapture anyway it doesn't matter what people think we'll see what happens in the seven year tribulation how people people that disagree we'll see what happens you. well you'll see what happens in the seven, seven i'm not going to be here but you'll see what happens in the seven year tribulation period that's coming and, and we'll see how that pans out but anyway i digress I don't want to even get to the moral issue, nor even the religious issue of this. What I want to look at is the legalization of it. Okay, first things first. If in that particular state or city or whatever, if they, you got to ask the question: Why would politicians want to legalize something that has been illegal in all all the states, just about in America? Why would you want to legalize it? I mean, need, you know, why, what, what's the point in that? It doesn't make any sense other than to say we're going to crash and destroy all traditional morality. That's how I see it. And that's one of the reasons why America is in such a moral, chaotic state right now, because we no longer believe in right or wrong anymore. Whatever's right for you is whatever's right for you. Hey, let the chips fall where they may. Love the one you with, the song said in the 1960s, right? But uh, where has that gotten us? When we reject the traditional morality, where has that gotten us morally as a country? Need I say more? Come on, man. Let's quit playing games. You, you, reject, moral, you reject traditional morality, you're going to have chaos, and that's what we have. We have chaos on a moral level in our country. That's part of the downside of our country is the fact that we rejected all traditional morality. But like I said, I'm not going to even focus on that. I want to focus on the fact that the legalization of it. Why would politicians want to even con contemplate legalizing polygamy? You got to ask yourself that question. But the other thing is this, is the financial implications of this. If you want to be married to two and three and four women, that's your choice. <laughs> do you. Do, do your thing, bro. Do your thing, but you're going to have to be the one to deal with the financial consequences and the financial weight of that. You better have some serious money. 
Because assuming that they're not working, you better have some serious money in your pocket to take care of them. You married to two and three and four women, you better have some serious money to take care of them. But in addition to the financial uh, uh, concepts of this, the financial repercussions of this, you have to deal with the emotional effect. Now, I'm pretty sure that these women are still going to feel and act and think like women do. A woman who's a true woman wants your love to be focused completely on her. Now, if you get you, these women that, that, that are okay with, with polygamy being married, okay, but I've heard of stories where some of those multiple wives get upset that the husband is spending too much time with the other woman. Now he has to divide his time. Like I said, man, you do you. But now he has to divide his time. So I'm spending too much time with 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 uh, uh Sarisha, Sarisha over here. Let me spend some, and 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 Boo Boo. She's upset with me. So because I'm spending too much time with Sharisha, let me go over here and spend some time with with uh Boo Boo. Oh man. Now uh, uh Katie, she's upset. My third wife, yeah, back in you know whatever, she's upset. And now I got to go and spend some time with her. Oh, wow. They got children. Now. I got children by all three of them. Now, now you got to deal with the children because nine times out of ten, you're probably going to have children with them because they're probably going to want children. Women tend to want children. You know, true women. I ain't talking about these so-called liberated women. Okay. I ain't talking about these feminists. They out, the, they out the ballpark. I ain't talking about them. I'm talking about real women who actually embrace being a female, actually embrace being a woman. They're more than likely going to have children. So if they're going to want to have children, you, you married to three women, not only are you going to have to deal with three women, female minds and dealing with the emotional uh, uh, variables of that, but now you're going to have to deal with three women that probably going to want to have children. So you, If you want to be a good husband, you got to be a good husband to all three of them. You got to give them all three of them equal time, equal commitment, equal whatever. You got to do it. You can't pick one over the other. You see how messed up that is? You can't pick one over the other. That's not how it works. Or at least, let me put it to you like this. I want, I'm going to take it back. It's not how it works. I would say it this way. What appears to be cool is not what it really is. That's not a reality. How about that? It's not a reality. They'll show it as a, a way of, you know, the putting on an air, you know. But in reality, when the doors are shut and nobody's looking and no one's paying attention, What's going on behind doors? What's going on behind closed doors? Those wives are not as happy as they appear to be in front of the camera. <laughs> They're not. Because that system does not really work at, in the favor of the women. It works in the favor of the man. You say, why is it working in favor of the man? Because if I'm going to use myself as an example. This is you myself. Okay. And as I say, I embrace polygamy. I believe in polygamy and my religion uh, supports it. Or I won't even say religion because somebody might get offended with it. I'll say my system of belief in supports it and, and my particular state government supports it and have legalized it. Let's put it like that, okay? I marry a woman. I tell her I love her. I marry her. But I see as time going, I see I, I, I start getting bored with this woman, and you know, and, and, and you know, sex ain't all that good. I'm being frank with you, sex ain't all that good in the bedroom. She don't want to do this. Okay, so I meet some other woman. She looks good. I like her. Hey, she looks really attractive. Have you noticed that these men that are married and these, married to these multiple women, none of them are ugly? I'm just saying, be realistic. You know, they all tend to be very beautiful, right? Something's funky about that. But anyway, back to me. Uh, yeah, so I see this woman, and then, you know, because my wife, she's not, you know, one I'm with. She's not really performing like I wanted to in the different areas, you know. And I'm tired of it. I'm getting tired. So since polygamy has been legalized in my city and in my state, let me go ahead and find someone else. I find someone else who looks good, who's willing to do what I want her to do, when she I want her to do. So I marry her. Oh, so I get bored with this one. She's not doing everything. So I see another good looking woman. Oh man, oh, she look good. I will see a lot of this stuff, in my opinion, is just an excuse for the man to be. Uh, I'm gonna just be real with you, a whore. 
That's all that is to me. That's all it is. You, you, he's, just, he's just basically justifying his whoredoms by marrying a bunch of women because none of them are ugly. I haven't seen any women married, with, married to multiple women that they're, they're ugly. I ain't never seen them ugly. They're all beautiful to me. That sounds funky to me. Okay. To me, it's just a just, and I'm giving you my opinion. You might not agree with it, but this is my opinion. And I've thought this for a long time. To me, it's just justification for the man to be with all kinds of women and it be legal for him to do so. And it be okay for him to do so. He ain't got to worry about the law getting on him. He don't got to worry about society getting on him because after all, it's part of religion or it's part of his system of belief and the government have legalized it. He's cool. So nothing you can do about it. Me, if I was a woman, I wouldn't even marry a man that supports that. I'd be like, no, your attention got to be on me. Remember, the, how many of us have ever watched uh, Good Times? The 70s uh, TV show Good Times? What if, if you do, if you have watched it, I'm pretty sure you remember the episode where um, <clears throat> Thelma met that African dude. Yeah, just keep it real, keep it 100. Met the African dude, you know what I'm saying? And uh, she was in love with him. He was in love with her. At least that's the impression she got. Then when it came down to the nudie swoop, about to make that move, then he began to tell her what he traditionally believes in and what it, his tradition was in his homeland, which was to be married to a multiplicity of different women. And Flo, uh, and, and, and Thelma was like, oh, no, I'm paraphrasing. Like, no, 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 no. All your attention got to be on me. It can't be. And she began to explain, look, this is not how we do it here in America. We're in America. We don't do it like that. You're in your country. I respect your country. I respect their traditions. But you're in America. And let's cut it down a little bit further. Let's exit the American part out, okay? Because the American governments, state, local, and federal, the people in these governments are screwed up. And they're embracing a lot of things that we have considered to be immoral for a long time in this country. So I'm not going to even put it out. Let's, let's narrow it down to a single individual. That's, this is how I rock. And how I rock. Is and this is what Florida, I mean, not Florida, uh, Thelma was basically saying in so many ways. How I rock as a single black woman is you got to be committed to me, bro, and not to two or three or four other women. And he was like, Well, you know, that's my tradition. Now, you want me to, you asking me to give up hundreds of years of tradition? He says, Well, you know what? That ain't going to work. Because she's, your attention got to be on me. Okay, so so th this whole idea of the legalization of, of marriage of, of polygamy, it, it, on 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 the emotional and psychological and financial side, it's going to be a problem. Okay, and let me share this with you too. Uh, this situation came up at my church Sunday when we was in Sunday school, and one of the new members uh, somehow the subject of I don't know how the subject of of, of, of people uh, given. Contrary information came up, but she began to share in the class about some guy that was she was in a beauty shop or a, a barber shop somewhere, and she was getting her son was I think it was a barber shop, and her son was getting a haircut. Man came in, and I think she said he started talking to her about wanting to get with her and wanting to marry her. And I don't want to mis uh, 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 represent what she said. Wanted to marry and all this, and then. Somehow he started telling her about the fact that he has other women and that he wanted to he wanted her to be a part of that. And she was just shocked at this man's brazen boldness here in America. I don't know if this guy was African. I don't know what 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 nat she's I, I, I'm gonna assume that he was a black guy. I mean, maybe I don't but I don't know. He could have been African, he could have been from I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. She didn't say exactly what particular nationality he was. All I know he he was he was he was in, he was in America talking to her about being married and and having her be a part of his harem, if you will. And she said, "I couldn't believe it. It was shocking. I was like, no, I don't want to be a part of that." But you. It, so why am I sharing that? I'm sharing that story because connected to what Neil was saying here that hey, it's okay if you if, you, if it's not hurting anyone. You could do. There might be something else going on here. There might be something else. There might be politicians who are actually trying to promote and push this idea of legalizing polygamy in this country because in certain states, they're already trying to legalize prostitution. Everything that we consider to be immoral, traditionally immoral, now has been switched all over, man. Every, this country is gone. Gone. That's why it's important 
to watch who you vote for. People think that's not that, that doesn't mean anything. It means something because it's the they're the ones make the laws. They're the ones make the laws. It doesn't matter what their race is. Doesn't matter about them being black. Doesn't matter about them being white. None of that matters. What matters is their policies because their policies, particularly if they're congressmen or the city council or whatever, the state council, they're the ones create the laws, the laws that we have to adhere to. And if you don't want nobody to restrict, you know, if you don't want to be, if you don't want someone in there creating laws that is purely satanic and demonic, then it probably would be best for you not to vote for them. Because when you vote for them, you're putting, you're helping to put them in office and you're giving them power. Our votes give these people power. I'm just saying I could go further into this, but then this video will be going further than it should have gone. But yeah, OK, you know. Neo, that's his problem. That's his business. He want to walk around with two women, uh, two girlfriends. That's his business. He want to get married to uh, uh, two or three women. That's his business, even though he says, I don't, I don't know. No, I don't know. That's your business, bro. But you're going to have to deal with the consequences of that. You're going to have to deal with his financial consequences. You're going to have to deal with the emotional consequences. And if you have children, you're going to have to deal with the financial consequences. Just saying. It ain't what it looks like, Okay. There's repercussions and consequences in this. But that's what I had to say. What do you guys think about Neil's response to this question from TN, reporter from TNZ Reporter? Or what do you think about all of this? Leave your comments in the comment section below. Like, share, and subscribe to my channel. God bless you all. See you again.